Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Gemini, May 25, 2022. With somewhat rebellious energy today, a little self-honesty can go a long way. You're in a stronger position to think more deeply and consider all angles, but do your best not to take this tendency to greater lengths than is necessary or healthy. You can too easily trip over yourself as you doubt or second-guess people or projects in your life. Try to relax and don't push things that are better left to run their natural course. It's a generally excellent period for strengthening or attracting relationships, and perhaps some backstepping or second-guessing today can ultimately increase your conviction or faith in something or someone. It's a good time for nurturing your ambitions. You're feeling particularly strongly about work and life direction goals, and especially protective of your ideas or projects. Moon is about to occur in your sign, and your emotions are building. An epiphany is possible. Overthinking things? Before the moon concludes its journey through your sign, it will make a direct opposition to your planetary ruler, Mercury, Jupiter, and Neptune via your committed seventh house of agreements, compromise, and significant others. Single, crushing, or already romantically attached, you could be extra receptive and emotionally in tune with your person, which can be overwhelming if you're in the early stages of your relationship. Your best bet? Find an outlet to express yourself and ground your energy. Stay in your lane, and open your heart to the connection if you're vibing. Transmute the unnecessary tension. There could be various directions your commitments could go in, Virgo. Today, Mercury in Pisces sextals Uranus in Taurus, indicating that certain conversations about your professional commitments could lead to an exciting yet unexpected adventure. Mercury's fantastical thinking can help you visualize how your working relationships or obligations could pan out while Uranus may have an innovative spin on it. It could be time to visualize the journey you and your working relationships may go on and think about different avenues or opportunities that could come along the way. In the lead-up to the moon's return to your income sector tomorrow and the sun's to your financial sector two days later, it was always going to be important to take a wait-and-see approach. Even more so with today's moon potentially playing havoc with your senses and with how clearly the messages are getting through. You sometimes feel ill at ease with people and see your friends as rivals. You also tend to argue in a loud, aggressive way. Treat other people with more respect than usual and don't injure them just because you feel uncomfortable with yourself. Some random event that happens early today might send your schedule spinning out of control. Embrace the craziness and see where it takes you. You might like it. Heightened awareness of your surroundings make you responsive to the many opportunities that occur for you to find romance. Any communication you get, treat as particularly important, don't dispose of contacts or phone numbers or lose any, you're experiencing the results of previous effort, stay open to offers. Knowing that you are pursuing something of your own choosing makes a big difference in your life. When you enjoy yourself at yoga, or when you shower after a good, sweaty run take a moment to let the feelings of satisfaction and purposefulness move out from your heart and throughout every cell in your body. There is a healing quality inherent to this conscious appreciation of your own vital accomplishments. Then let rest come into your cells as deeply as you let the exercise in. If working from home has been something you've been considering this day can help you make this happen. Research the work that you want to do, and consider all of the resources you currently have. While it may not be wise to throw yourself into it full-time right off the bat, you can do a lot to get things moving in that direction after hours. This can be a very rewarding way of working, especially if you have children you want to be home for. Mars is both the warrior planet of the cosmos and your ruling planet, with his return to Aries tomorrow not only beginning a new two-year Mars cycle but firing up your passions, drive, competitive and warrior spirit. Yet ahead of this, as Venus aligns with the dwarf planet Eris here today your heart is already getting a sense of what is inspiring your warrior and competitive spirit. As Eris is the warrior princess of the cosmos and with Jupiter, 
the planet of luck and expansion already in Aries and expanding everything he touches, this is just a taste of things to come. There is a sense of anticipation in the air ahead of Mars return to Aries tomorrow, something that will be personally energizing while giving Venus final days in your sign a boost. It has been five years since the planets of love and passion have been in Aries at the same time and as they will only be together for four days, from the moment Mars returns tomorrow they will be working to make it count. Our eyes in the sky. There are good moods all around, and you could be feeling particularly social today and ready to share your positivity with others. You and your loved ones will support each other, so spending time with them now can be especially rewarding. You might even find that you look better than usual too, so don't be surprised if you're really feeling yourself today. This is an exceptional time to get together in a large group, plan a trip with other people, and organize regular gatherings moving forward. This is great energy for doing charitable works, donating your time, and working on behalf of others. The moon links up with Uranus tonight, and the energy is still sociable, but it's more suggestive of old times and memories. It's a great night for a small gathering around the fire pit to recap your group's greatest hits. Intuition is strong, but the emotional intensity could cloud your judgment. If you're under work or other pressure and unable to socialize, you could experience some mood swings. Just try not to behave in a way you might come to regret later. Why do we allow emotions like guilt or shame to isolate us? Yes, our past is unique. No one else has the same lens on reality because no one else has lived identical experiences. Yet, while our history might be our own, we can still find relatable ways of sharing our stories with others to inspire communion, compassion, admiration, and respect. Fortune might land in our laps. Although luck appears randomly, it is the result of good karma gathered from previous deeds. Enjoy this magical moment. Mid-afternoon, the moon aligns with Neptune, continuing the day's dreamy vibe. At best, this aspect will bring out our compassionate side. At worst, it can find us becoming lost in illusion. When Pallas aligns with Chiron, we perceive the magnitude of this truth. Pain, although uniquely experienced, is universally understood. The gulf we perceive between ourselves and others is not as wide as we believe. The patterning of our wounds becomes defined during this transit, and our strategic approach to healing empowers us while inspiring those around us to resolve their own pain. Are we keeping organized? Are we being mindful of the details? However, Mercury in opposition scrambles our ability to express ourselves. We forget the minutiae, and our interactions become laden with misunderstandings. Frustration is the result of this cosmic clash, so give the time-sensitive deeds on your to-do list a bit of extra padding and prepare for one or two awkward conversations.